welcome my dear students now we will take another virtual math class for class 7 in west bengal board today topic is concept of concept of parallel line concept of parallel lines and transverse This is chapter 13, page number, page number is 168, 168. This is our today topic. Now, we see a picture. This picture is a A rail line and in this rail line there are two path and also we see that the distance of two rail line two paths are always fixed now distance here is this line now distance is here is this line now distance is here is this line so this distance is always fixed so therefore we see that two paths never intersect in mathematical language we see we called these two lines are parallel now the definition of parallel lines in a geometry parallel lines are lines in a plane which do not meet these two lines do not meet that is two lines in a plane that do not intersect or touch each other at any point are said to be parallel if two lines do not intersect or touch each other then two lines are called parallel lines now we see in the board parallel lines now there is a one line this is straight line and another straight line is this these two lines distance of these two lines always fixed here distance is this here AB is the distance between two parallel lines and here another distance is td and here another distance is ef any dist any perpendicular distance if the perpendicular distance are equal if ab equals to cd equals to ef then we can say that ab sorry these lines are pq and this is the line RS and PQ and RS are parallel. This is the symbol of parallel lines. PQ parallel to RS. Now we see a two pic we see two pictures. The first picture is a wheel of a bicycle. And these there are so many spoke and each and two, two spokes are intersect each other so therefore these two lines are not parallel so these two these lines are intersecting line and in the second picture there is a scissor and these two lines are intersecting lines when 
when two straight lines intersect each other the pair of opposite angles are formed at the point of intersection so this is the point of intersection are called vertically opposite angles now this figure these lines and this line are intersect at the point o so therefore this angle and this angle are formed these two angles are called vertically opposite angle so this this pair are called vertically opposite angle this pair are called vertically opposite angle and here this pair called vertically opposite angle and in this figure these two angles pair of these two angles are vertically opposite angles and pair of these two angles are vertically opposite angles when two straight lines two straight lines intersect each other the pair of opposite angles are formed at the point of intersection are called vertically opposite angle it is found that there are so many vertical opposite angles are formed in the above picture so many vertical opposite angles are formed in the above picture next slide now here ab and cd are two straight lines they are not parallel they are intersecting straight lines and these two lines intersect at the point o and their four angles are formed these angles these and these are vertical opposite angle and these and these are vertically opposite angle now we see that the measurement of this angle is 35 and vertical opposite angle of this angle is measurement is 35 and this angle is 145 and this angle is 145 now we angle, we measure the angle in protector and also we see that this is 35 this is 35 and this is 145 and this is 145 so vertically opposite angles are equal in class 8 there is a theorem prove that vertically opposite angles are equal now we remember when two straight lines are intersecting so vertically angle vertically opposite angles are formed and vertically opposite angles are equal vertically opposite angles there are two straight lines straight line is ab and another straight line cd intersect at o here angle aoc and angle bod are vertically opposite angles also angle boc and angle aod angle boc and angle aod are vertically opposite angles next we see a satellite image of a some of some place and in this picture we see there are so many roads and and there are intersecting roads 
now there are these 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 there are five roads and these roads intersect now the definition is the these 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 there are five roads and these roads intersect the roads and in mathematical sense we can say that a definition a line that cuts across two or more usually parallel the lines is not a parallel is not necessary a line that cuts across two or more lines in the figure these these this is the line two parallel lines and intersect this and this is also these and these are two lines and these lines are intersect next the transversal if a line cuts two or more lines if a line cuts two or more lines here ab the line ab is cuts line l1 l2 l3 l4 then we can say that ab is a transversal these lines l1 l2 l3 l4 are not necessarily parallel so this is a line l1 l2 and l3 if a line cuts three lines l1 l2 l3 so therefore these lines ab is called a transversal the transversal means a transversal is a line which intersect two or more lines these lines may be parallel may not be a parallel so now from the figure we see that ab is a transversal and in the second figure ab also a transversal now we take l1 and l2 are two parallel lines and l3 is a transversal and now from three lines l1 l2 and l3 so many angles are formed and from l1 and l3 the angle a b c d here the four angles are formed and the line l3 and l2 from another four angles a prime b prime c prime and d prime and now the angle a and b these two angles are the exterior angle and also c prime and d prime are the angles in the exterior portion so these two angles are also exterior angle so a angle a angle b angle c prime and angle d prime are the exterior angles and c angle c angle d angle a prime and angle b prime these four angles are are the angles at the interior portion so we call these four angles are interior angles next we define very important term corresponding angle corresponding angles now two straight lines now l1 and l2 are two straight lines and l3 is a transversal these these are exterior angle also these and these are exterior angle these 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 are interior angle what is the definition of corresponding angles if definition is one exterior and one interior angle in the in the same side of transversal 
are called are called corresponding angle are called corresponding angles here now this is angle 1 is from angle 2 angle 3 angle 4 angle 5 angle 6 angle 7 and angle 8 now definition is one exterior and one interior in the same side of the transversal l3 is a transversal now we take the right hand side l1 angle 1 is the exterior angle and angle 5 is the angle 1 is the exterior angle and angle 5 is the interior angle so angle 1 and angle 5 are called are called corresponding angle also angle 4 and angle 7 angle 4 and angle 7 are called corresponding angles if 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 two lines are parallel if two lines are parallel then corresponding angles are equal this is an axiom if two lines are parallel so there are so many corresponding angles are formed and corresponding angles are equal so here angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angle so angle 1 equals to angle 5 already in already i told vertically opposite angles are equal so here we told uh, here we can say that corresponding angles are equal angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angle so angle 1 equals to angle 5 angle 3 and angle 8 are corresponding angles so angle 3 equals to angle 8 definitely L1, two lines are parallel l1 parallel to l2 otherwise corresponding angles are not equal corresponding angles are formed but corresponding angles are not equal and angle 4 and angle 7 are corresponding angles so angle 4 equals to angle 7 and angle 2 and angle 6 are corresponding angles so angle 2 equals to angle 6 next we define another very important part is alternate angle alternate angles if if now first we draw a figure and draw a parallel lines now this is l1 and l2 are two parallel lines and l3 is a transversal these four angles are interior angle and this is are called exterior angle and name of the angle may be angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 angle 4 angle 5 angle 6 angle 7 angle 8 now definition of alternate angle two interior angles if two interior angles lies lie opposite to the transversal opposite to the transversal then then two 
इंटीरियर एंगल्स आर कॉल्ड ऑल्टरनेट एंगल तो दिस इज द इंटीरियर ऑल्टरनेट एंगल्स एंड अनदर एक्सटीरियर ऑल्टरनेट एंगल्स आर फॉर्म तो दिस इज द दिस डेफिनेशन इज इंटीरियर ऑल्टरनेट angles and another definition of is another definition of exterior alternate angles if two exterior two exterior angles lie opposite to the transversal opposite to the transversal opposite to the transversal or then to exterior angles are called called exterior alternate angle exterior alternate angle we note that we note that corresponding angles and alternate angles these two angles are not adjacent now angle 1 and angle 4 angle 5 are corresponding angle must be these two angles are not adjacent angle so we write in the definition we, we introduce a term if two non adjacent exterior angles if two non adjacent interior angles and in corresponding angle definition in two non adjacent angles one exterior and one interior lies on the same side of the transversal then two angles are called corresponding angles in corresponding angles and alternate angles are not adjacent angles and also in alternate angles there is a property now angle 1 angle 1 equals to angle 5 if two lines are parallel so angle 1 equals to angle 5 because they are corresponding angles now angle 1 equals to angle 3 because angle 1 and angle 3 are vertically opposite angles and already we told vertically opposite angles are equal so angle 1 equals to angle 3 so angle 3 equals to angle 5 now according to definition angle 3 and angle 5 these two angles are interior angles and these two angles lies opposite to the transversal this is the left hand left, uh, left hand side in the, uh, this angle is left hand side of the transversal and this angle is right hand side of the transversal so angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate angle and also alternate angles are equal if two lines are parallel then alternate angles are equal if two lines are parallel corresponding angles are equal so here angle 3 angle 5 are alternate angle also angle 4 and angle 6 are alternate angle angle 1 and angle 3 angle 3 angle 5 this is a alternate angle angle 4 angle 6 this is also alternate angle angle 2 angle 8 sorry angle 2 and angle 8 this is also exterior alternate angle and angle 1 and angle 7 this is also exterior alternate angles now we see that a yellow line intersect to blue lines so this yellow lines is a transversal and this transversal from here two angles the angle is 112 112 68 68 and this is 112 112 68 68 and if we move the transversal the so measurement of angles are different 
So this is 122, 122, 58, 58. 122, 122, 58 and 58. So already we told vertical opposite angles are equal because these two angles are vertical opposite angles. So measurement of these two angles 120, 22, 122, 122, 58, 58 and 58, 58. Next, now corresponding angles. Now we move the transversal. So these two blue lines are parallel lines and yellow line intersect the two lines. So yellow line is a transversal. So there are so here 33 degree, 33 degree is a corresponding angle. 147, 147 are corresponding angles and measurement of corresponding angles are equal. Alternate interior angles. So these two angles are alternate interior angles and we see that measurement of alternate interior angles is equal 33 33 147 147 now we move the transversal so this 61 61 so this is our alternate interior angles and already we told alternate interior angles are equal next alternate exterior angles these two angles are alternate exterior angles these two angles are opposite to the transversal and this is exterior two angles are exterior opposite to the transversal so this is 61 this is 61 this is 119 119 and already we told alternate exterior angles are equal if two lines are parallel now so here 23 23 and 157 157 so now this is the all angles these two angles 157 157 are vertical opposite angle are equal this is 23 this is 23 vertical opposite angles are equal 157, 157, vertical opposite angle, vertical opposite angle. And these two angles are, these and these are corresponding angles, these and these are corresponding angles, these and these are corresponding angles, these and these are corresponding angles. So corresponding angles are equal, these and these are alternate angle, these and these are alternate angles. So alternate angles are equal, okay. Next, in Gargi's figure in your book, AB and CD are two lines, these two lines are not parallel and EF is a transversal, intersect the two lines at G and H, so angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4 and angle 5, angle 6, angle 7 and angle 8 are formed. This is the Gargi figure and jackets draw, AB and CD are two parallel lines and EF is a transversal these two lines intersect at the point G and H, angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6 and angle 7 are formed. Now in exercise, let us work out number 13. We cut off the angles from the Gargi's figure and we did with Jackie's figure and try to place the angles one over at the other. Let's note down our observation. First, when two lines are parallel, so this is the Kargi figure, and one is done. Angle one and angle five are corresponding angle. Angle one and angle five are corresponding angle. So in if two lines are parallel, then corresponding angles are equal. Here the two lines are not parallel, so these two angles are not equal. Now we see C stand for corresponding angle and A stand for alternate angle. Now angle 4 and angle 8. Here is angle 4 and here is angle 8. So this is corresponding angle. Right C unequal. This is unequal. 
Now angle 3 and angle 7. Angle 3 and angle 7. This is also corresponding angle. Right? C. And this is not equal. Angle 2 and angle 6. Angle 2 and angle 6. This is also corresponding angle. Right? C. And if two lines are not parallel, so corresponding are angle are not equal. Angle 2 and angle 8. Angle 2 and angle 8 are alternate angle. Right? A. If two lines are not parallel, so this is not equal. Angle 3 and angle 5. This is also alternate angle. So write A. Not equal. Angle 2 and angle 5. Angle 2, angle 2 and angle 5. These two angles are interior angle. Angle 2 and angle 5 are two interior angles. Same side of the interior angles. So these two angles are not corresponding but not alternate angle. These two angles are not corresponding, not alternate, right? Not corresponding and not alternate. Angle 3 and angle 8, not corresponding, not alternate. But this, these two angles are called co-interior angle. Angle 1 and angle 3, angle 1 and angle 3 are vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angle. Angle 2 and angle 4, angle 2 and angle 4 are vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angle always equal. Vertically opposite angles always equal. Angle 5 and angle 7. Angle 5 and angle 7 are vertically opposite angle equal. And angle 6 and angle 8 both are vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angle. And vertically opposite angles are also equal. And angle, these two figures are called co-interior angle. Angle 2 and angle 5. Angle 2 and angle 5 are co-interior angle. Co-interior angle may not be equal. And angle 3 and angle 8 are co-interior angle. These two angles may not be equal. Now in the jacket's figure. A, B and C, D are two parallel lines and E, F is a transversal. These two lines intersect at the point G and H. Angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles. This is equal. Angle 4 and angle 8 are corresponding angle. Equal. Angle 3 and angle 7 corresponding angle. Equal. Angle 2 and angle 6 is corresponding angle equal. If two lines are parallel, the corresponding angles are equal. Angle 2 and angle 8. Angle 2 and angle 8 are alternate angle equal. Angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate angle equal. Angle 2 and angle 5 are co-interior angle. And angle 3 and angle 8 are co-interior angles. These two angles may not be equal, right unequal and right co-interior angle, co-interior angle, angle 1 and angle 3 are vertically opposite angle, vertically opposite angles always equal, angle 2 and angle 4 are vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angle always equal if two lines parallel or not parallel. Angle 5 and angle 7. Angle 5 and angle 7 are vertically opposite. Vertically opposite angles always equal. And the last is homework. Okay. Thank you.